The University of Waterloo is a public research university with a main campus located in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada. The main campus is located on 404 hectares of land in Uptown, Waterloo, adjacent to Waterloo Park. The university offers academic programs administered by six faculties and ten faculty-based schools. The university also operates four satellite campuses and four affiliated university colleges. Waterloo is a member of the U15, a group of research-intensive universities in Canada. University of Waterloo is most famous for its cooperative education programs which allow the students to integrate their education with applicable work experiences. University of Waterloo operates the largest post-secondary co-op program of its kind in the world, with over 19,000 co-op students and 5,200 employers. The institution was established on 1 July 1957 as the Waterloo College Associate Faculties, a semi-autonomous entity of Waterloo College then an affiliate of the University of Western Ontario. This entity formally separated from Waterloo College in 1959 and was incorporated as a university. It was established to fill the need to train engineers and technicians for Canada's growing post-war economy. It grew substantially over the next decade, adding a Faculty of Arts in 1960 and the College of Optometry of Ontario which moved from Toronto in 1967. The university is co-educational, and has nearly 27,000 undergraduate and over 4,000 postgraduate students. Alumni and former students of the university can be found across Canada and in over 140 countries. The university ranked 200th in the 2015 Academic Ranking of World Universities, 152nd in the 2015-2016 QS World University Rankings, and 179th in the 2015-2016 Times Higher Education World University Rankings. Waterloo's varsity teams, known as the Waterloo Warriors, compete in the Ontario University Athletics Conference of the Canadian Inter-University Sport History. The greatest product which we will realize from our electronic era is the better educated race. This applies to all fields, not just the field of science. Ira Needles, 1956 The University of Waterloo traces its origins to Waterloo College. The academic outgrowth of Waterloo Lutheran Seminary, which was affiliated with the University of Western Ontario since 1925, when Gerald Hagee assumed the presidency of Waterloo College in 1953, he made it his priority to procure the funds necessary to expand the institution. While the main source of income for higher education in Ontario at the time was the provincial government, the Ontario government made it clear that it would not contribute to denominational colleges and universities. Hagee soon became aware of the steps undertaken by McMaster University to make itself eligible for some provincial funding by establishing Hamilton College as a separate, non-denominational college affiliated with the university. Following that method, Waterloo College established the Waterloo College Associate Faculties on 4 April 1956, as a non-denominational board affiliated with the college. The academic structure of the associated faculties was originally focused on cooperative education in the applied sciences, largely built around the proposals of Ira Needles. Needles proposed a different approach towards education, including both studies in the classroom and training in industry that would eventually become the basis of the university's cooperative education program. While the plan was initially opposed by the Engineering Institute of Canada and other Canadian universities, Notably the University of Western Ontario, the Associated Faculties admitted its first students in July 1957. On 25 January 1958 the Associated Faculties announced the purchase of over 74 hectares of land west of Waterloo College. 
By the end of the same year, the Associated Faculties opened its first building on the site, the Chemical Engineering Building. In 1959, the Legislative Assembly of Ontario passed an act which formally split the Associated Faculties from Waterloo College and re-established it as the University of Waterloo. The governance was modelled on the University of Toronto Act of 1906, which established a bicameral system of university government consisting of a Senate, responsible for academic policy, and a Board of Governors exercising exclusive control over financial policy and having formal authority in all other matters. The president, appointed by the board, was to act as the institution's chief executive officer and act as a liaison between the two groups. The Legislative Act was the result of a great deal of negotiation between Waterloo College, Waterloo College Associated Faculties, and St. Jerome's College, another denominational college in the city of Waterloo. While the agreements sought to safeguard the existence of the two denominational colleges, they also aimed at federating them with the newly established University of Waterloo. Due to disagreements with Waterloo College, the college was not formally federated with the new university. The dispute centered on a controversially warded section of the University of Waterloo Act, 1959, in which the college interpreted certain sections as a guarantee that it would become the Faculty of Art for the new university. This was something that the Associated Faculties was not prepared to accept. As a result of the controversy, Waterloo College's entire Department of Mathematics broke away from the college to join the newly established University of Waterloo, later joined by professors from the Economic, German, Modern Languages, and Russian Departments. Despite this controversy, until 1960 Hagee hoped that a last-minute compromise between Waterloo College and the university could be achieved. Ultimately, however, the university created its own Faculty of Arts in 1960. It later established the first Faculty of Mathematics in North America on 1 January 1967. In 1967 the world's first Department of Kinesiology was created. The present Legislative Act which defines how the university should be governed. The University of Waterloo Act, 1972, was passed on 10 May 1972. Although the coat of arms was in use since the 1960s, the arms were finally registered with Lord Leon King of Arms in August 1987. In February 1995 the former president of the university, James Downey, signed the Tri-University Group Agreement between Wilfrid Laurier University and the University of Guelph, signed in a period of fiscal constraint, and when aging, library systems required replacing. The Tug Agreement sought to integrate the library collections and services of the three universities, 21st century in 2001, the university announced that it would develop the Waterloo Research and Technology Park in the North Campus. The park was planned to house many of the high-tech industries in the area, and is supported by the university, the regional municipality of Waterloo, the provincial and federal governments, and Canada's Technology Triangle. The aim was to provide businesses with access to the university's faculty, cooperative education, students, and alumni, as well as the university's infrastructure and resources. Groundbreaking was on 25 June 2002, with the first completed building, the Cybase Campus Building, opening on 26 November 2004. In 2010, the Waterloo Research and Tech Park was renamed as the David Johnston Research and Technology Park, after David Johnston. The 28th Governor-General of Canada and former President of the University, from 2009 to 2012, the university managed four undergraduate programs in Dubai. The university worked in partnership with the Higher Colleges of Technology, the largest post-secondary institution in the United Arab Emirates. Discussions regarding the partnership emerged in 2004, and the Dubai campus was officially opened in September 2009. 
Through the partnership, the university offered undergraduate degrees in chemical engineering, civil engineering, financial analysis and risk management, and information technology management. The programs offered in Dubai took place in facilities provided by the higher colleges of technology. On 30 October 2012, the university's Board of Governors decided to close the university's extension in Dubai campus. The university's main campus lies within the city of Waterloo, Ontario. It is bordered by Waterloo Park to the south, Wilfrid Laurier University to the southeast, residential neighborhoods to the northeast, east and west, and the Laurel Creek Conservation Area to the northwest. Three numbered roads also intersect the main campus, University Avenue West, Columbia Street West and West Mount Road North. While the main campus is 404 hectares, the majority of the teaching facilities are centered on a ring road in its southern portion. In addition, the university owns several other properties in Cambridge, Huntsville, Kitchener, and Stratford, Ontario. The buildings vary in age. The oldest is Graduate House, originally a farmhouse dating back to the 19th century. The oldest building which was erected for the university is the Douglas Wright Engineering Building, which was erected in 1958. A large majority of the university's buildings and its ring road were constructed during the 1960s. The university's main campus is divided into three major areas. South Campus, North Campus and Northwest Campus. South Campus is the academic core of the university, while North Campus holds the research and technology park. Northwest Campus is the least developed area of the main campus, made up primarily of farm fields and an environmental reserve, which divides it from North Campus. Libraries and museums The university has four libraries housing more than 1.4 million books, as well as electronic resources including e-books, serial titles and databases. Three of the libraries are located on campus. The Dana Porter Library, housing material relating to arts, humanities and social science. The Davis Center Library housing material for engineering, mathematics and science, and the Witter Learning Resource Center, housing material for the School of Optometry and Vision Science. The fourth library, the Musagetes Architecture Library, is located in Cambridge, alongside the university's School of Architecture. The libraries of the university's affiliated colleges are also considered a part of the university's library system. The university's library system is also a member of the Tri-University Group, a partnership between the University of Guelph, University of Waterloo and Wilfrid Laurier University. The group provides students and researchers at all three universities with access to all of the collections and services. The group also operates the Tugannex, a repository for less used library resources from the three universities. University of Waterloo also operates the Earth Sciences Museum, located on campus in the Center for Environmental Information Technology. It is mainly used as an earth science teaching museum for local schools and natural science interest groups in southern Ontario. The main exhibits cover the Great Lakes, rocks and minerals, dinosaurs and Ice Age mammals. The museum's dinosaur exhibit includes a complete cast of an Albertosaurus. The museum also houses an interactive simulation mining tunnel which aims to teach sustainable mining practices. Also owned and operated by the university is the Museum of Vision Science, which is located at the university's School of Optometry building. The university had previously operated the Elliott Avedon Museum and Archive of Games. Created by the Department of Recreation and Leisure Studies and previously managed by the university's Faculty of Applied Health Sciences. Due to a lack of specific academic interest, in 2009 the decision was made to close the museum and transfer the collection elsewhere. Housing and student facilities The university has seven student residences. The minor, Torhagi Residence, UW Place, Ronnie YDT Village, Village 1, Mackenzie King Village, Columbia Lake North and South, 
students are also allowed to apply to the residences of the university's affiliated colleges. The largest residential village at the university is UW Place, which houses 1,300 first-year students and 350 upper-year students, while the smallest residence is the minor Torhagi residence, which houses 70 students and is almost exclusively for upper-year students. The newest residence at the university is the Mackenzie King Village, which was constructed in 2002, and houses approximately 320 residents. In September 2010, 24.9% of the undergraduate population lived on campus, including 71.1% of first-year students. Residents are represented by two residential councils at the university, one representing the students at UW Place, and the other representing all the other residential villages. Each council organizes their own events and has their own executive budget and meetings. However, the overall mission of both councils is to act as the official representatives for all residents living at the university's residences. The Student Life Center is the center of student governance and student-directed social, cultural, entertainment and recreational activities. Open seven days a week, year-round. The Student Life Center contains the offices of a number of student organizations, including the Federation of Students, Student Housing Office, a number of retail and food services, and a variety of club space and study rooms. The idea for a student center emerged during the 1960s, and to raise the necessary funds for the building students began to levy a $10 fee. Construction began in July 1966 and was completed in 1968. Tensions between the university and the student community surfaced over the management and ownership of the Student Life Center. The conflict was not resolved until 1969, when Professor Johnson resigned his position as chairman of the Campus Center Board, along with his colleague Pim Fitzgerald. Off-campus facilities The university has three satellite campuses, and a number of other facilities located throughout southern Ontario. The closest off-campus facilities are adjacent to the campus, with the university acquiring land and five buildings from BlackBerry Limited on December 2013. The university expects to use three of the buildings starting in February 2014, and will lease the other two to BlackBerry Limited. The Center for Extended Learning is a facility owned and managed by the university and is located in Kitchener, Ontario. It provides pre-university courses, part-time studies, online learning and professional development courses. Another facility which is owned and managed by the university is the Waterloo Summit Center for the Environment, located in Huntsville, Ontario. It is a year-round research and teaching center, which regularly hosts post-secondary student field courses and professional development programs, and also serves as a university outreach facility for the whole region. Located close to Algonquin and Arrowhead Provincial Park, the center's facilities are used for research in ecological restoration and conservation. It also hosts an ecological research facility, including a wet laboratory. The university's School of Architecture uses a campus in Cambridge, Ontario, on the west bank of the Grand River. The architecture campus was the idea of the Cambridge Consortium, a group of Cambridge business owners, who spearheaded the school's fundraising drive to cover a portion of the $27 million cost of creating the new campus. The school, along with its faculty and students, was moved to the new campus in September 2004. Since 1979, the School of Architecture also operated an architecture studio in Rome, Italy in the neighborhood of Trastevere. The opportunity to work at the Trastevere studio is offered to fourth-year architecture students. Another satellite campus of the university is the Health Sciences Campus, located in Kitchener, Ontario, which houses the School of Pharmacy. The pharmacy building was designed by C.R. Mac Hariri and was completed in December 2008. While the School of Pharmacy acts as the anchor institution of this campus, 
Other students and faculty of the university's Faculty of Applied Health Sciences also use the facilities. The campus includes a primary care teaching clinic which will integrate clinical care and teaching in pharmacy and optometry. Two other universities also make use of the health science and pharmacy campus. McMaster University's medical school makes use of the campus as its base for its Waterloo Regional Campus, with 56 of the medical school's students admitted at the regional campus in 2012. Wilfrid Laurier University's School of Social Work also uses some of the facilities available on the campus. The university's third satellite campus, the Stratford Campus, is located in Stratford, Ontario. The focus for the Stratford campus is on education in digital arts and media. The idea for the Stratford campus first took shape when the city of Stratford and the university signed a memorandum in October 2006. It officially opened in September 2010. In November 2009, the university also signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the University of Western Ontario regarding academic initiatives at the Stratford campus. The campus also hosted the first four Canada 3.0 forums before its move to Toronto in 2012. Sustainability Sustainability initiatives are divided between several departmental offices at the university with the university's plant operations charged with their implementation. Prior to 2005, the management of sustainability efforts was conducted by the university's waste management coordinator. The university's sustainability initiatives are solely institution-specific, as it has not signed any national or international sustainability declaration. However, the university, along with the other members from the Council of Ontario Universities, signed a pledge in 2009 known as Ontario Universities Committed to a Greener World, with the objective of transforming its campus into a model of environmental responsibility. The university's School of Environment, Enterprise and Development placed first in Canada in the Corporate Night 2011 ranking for undergraduate business programs incorporating sustainability. The university campus received a C-plus grade from the Sustainable Endowments Institute on its College Sustainability Report Card for 2011.